What's going on everybody? It's Gum Unboxing Reviews here and welcome back to another LEGO DC Supervillains video. So in today's video I'm of course going to be showing you guys how to make Jessica Jones using the in-game customizer. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so to start off with, we're of course going to head into appearance, head, head, and then head again. And you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom until you find custom head 11, and of course this skin tone right here. Then once you've done that, you're going to back out of there, go into face decal color, which is the color of the eyebrows, which we want to make sure are black. For the eyeshadow, just go ahead and match it with the skin tone. For the lips, go with this color right here. And we don't need any accessories, now of course we can back out of there, go into hair, and you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom until you find the wavy one hairstyle. And for the color, we're of course going to go with black. Now then, once you've done that, you're going to go to attachments, and you want to scroll all the way to the bottom until you find the scarf. And for the color, I went with dark gray. Nice. Now then, on to the body. So for the body, we're going to go for preset body, and you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom until you find Zatanna's body. Now obviously, Zatanna is a DLC character, so you will need the Justice League Dark Character Pack if you want to be able to make my version of Jessica Jones in this game. And it should be black on default, but just make sure it is anyway. Now then, for the arms, you're going to go to both arms you want to make sure that you choose the blank ones and then for the color we're of course gonna go with black for the hands just go ahead and match it with the skin tone like that for the hips you want to make sure that they are this blue right here as you can see and then finally for the legs you want to go to boots make sure you match the first color with this blue right here and the second one is gonna be black for the black boots nice looking very very cool indeed now then on to the effects so we don't need a left hand glow or a right hand glow, but for the hit impact effects we're going to turn that on, make sure that it is style 1, and for the colour you're going to go with black. And we're also going to do the same with the jump slam effect as well, so you're going to turn it on, make sure that it is style 1, and then for the colour we're also going to go with black, so it makes less of an effect as possible. Nice. Now then, on to the abilities. So we don't need to add any abilities to the tag button, but for the jump button, we're going to go to double tap X, double jump, turn that on, and make sure that we go with jump style 1. And we're also going to add the hyper jump ability on hold X as well. Now then, for the square button, you're going to leave tap square, but on hold square, you're going to go to the lunge attack ability. So we're going to turn that on and make sure that you go with lunge style 2. So you can see here, Jessica can run towards an enemy to punch or kick them. Now then, for the circle button, on tap circle, I went with detective mode. So you're going to turn that on and make sure that the color is purple and finally for the abilities what you want to do is you want to go into hold circle explosion attack turn that on make sure that you go with I believe it's explosion style 4 yep it's that one right there and then for the effect I believe it's explosion effect 4 as well nice and then for the color what you want to do is go with black and then of course for the damage type just make sure that it is a heat explosion nice now then on to the skills so we don't need a grapple gun technology or mind control, but we will add acrobatics and wall climbing because Jessica is always climbing fire escapes and things, so I think that makes a lot of sense. We don't need telekinesis, but we'll definitely add super strength, smash walls. We don't need beam deflect or chlorokinesis. We don't need x-ray. We don't need goon command, graffiti, no. Tracking, yes, we'll definitely use that, and we're going to turn that on and make it purple because as you can see here, that is very fitting. And finally, the last few skills that we'll add for Jessica are, I think we'll go for illumination and also stealth nice now then on to the personality so for the health icon we're definitely going to go with purple for the health type just go with standard health for the voice just choose any female voice for the speed go with normal for the target reticle this was kind of hard to decide on so i just went with mercy graves and then for the animation set we're of course going to go with cool nice all right so we've done the appearance the abilities the personality we don't need any weapons so now all we need to do is fill in the basic information so for the status we're of course going to put hero for the affiliation will put unknown and then for the name we are of course gonna name her Jessica like this there we go Jessica Jones nice all right cool so now of course what we're gonna do is drop Jessica Jones into the hub world and see just what she can do and here she is this is of course my custom made Jessica Jones made in Lego DC supervillains let's just get a good look at her right here now I've got to say it overall I am extremely happy with the way that this character turned out I mean it looks just like Jessica Jones which is awesome and the reason I decided to give her a dark gray scarf was just because it makes her look even more like the Kristen Ritter version of the character so anyway what can she do well of course if we come over here we can do a double jump we can also perform the hyper jump ability which I'll do in a little bit obviously Jessica Jones is also 
also a very strong character, so she can easily pick up this forklift and chuck it over there and watch it explode. Look at that. That is awesome. She can also destroy the forklift in one hit, which is very cool. If we do it here, you can see there's also a ground pound uh, crack in the ground as well, which is nice. She's also got melee attacks, which are very simple, but still cool. If we come over here to where these dumpsters and cones are, we can actually target them as well, so we can do it like that and then rush towards them and completely destroy them in one hit which is great. If we come over here we've also got this really cool ability which I absolutely love where if you hold down circle she stomps the ground like that and absolutely obliterates everything in sight which is amazing. The reason I decided to give her that animation was because I swear I've seen her do something like that in either Jessica Jones or the Defenders series. I'm pretty sure there is a moment where she kicks the ground like that but maybe I'm wrong. And finally the other ability that we gave her is of course detective mode. Now you can't see it right now but basically, people that are of interest, say for example, enemies such as the police, because obviously, you know, this is LEGO DC supervillains, they will appear purple. And the reason I decided to do that for detective mode, tracking, and also in the top left there, you can see the purple health icon, is because of Kilgrave. I thought that would be a cool reference to that character. Anyway, let's go jump on into Gotham City. Let's see if we can actually make it without uh, falling into the water. So, one, two, three. Come on, Jessica. Oh, are we going to make it? Oh, I tell you what, that's quite far. Oh, I, that's probably the furthest I've ever jumped from there. So that is really, really cool. Nice job, Jessica. Anyway, let's uh, let's actually go start a fight with the police here. Now, you're probably wondering... Whoa, I took him out pretty quickly. Now, you're probably wondering, why have I decided to make Jessica Jones today of all days? Well, some of you will probably be able to work it out, while others may not have heard the unfortunate news. Basically... Um, not only has Jessica Jones been cancelled, but also the Punisher. So that means no Daredevil, no Iron Fist, no Jessica Jones, no Luke Cage, no Punisher, and no Defenders anymore. They are done. We are not getting any more of those shows on Netflix, which is obviously the worst news ever, because I mean... I absolutely love those shows. All of them. I really did. I mean, yes, yeah, some were better than others, but I still really enjoyed each and every one. I think my favorites were definitely Daredevil and Punisher, although I really enjoyed Jessica Jones Series 1. I think that is a very solid series. And also... Uh, Iron Fist is a show that, you know, with the first series, everyone was like, oh, I hated that. And, you know, I can understand why people didn't like it. I thought it was fine, but I knew if they were given another series, it would be better. And I was so happy when, you know, they actually announced, yeah, we are doing another series. And it was better. It was so much better. And, you know, the crazy thing about it is that Finn Jones has recently said that if there were to be a Series 3, he even saw the suit, apparently, he would have been wearing Orson Randall's suit from the comics. So he would have had the mask and the, the whole outfit and the guns and everything. I mean, it sucks that we're never going to see that because that would have been super cool, but oh well. And obviously, you know, with Daredevil, um, I mean, that ended, that had a great ending, but, you know, spoiler alert for Daredevil Series 3, they obviously, um, you know, open the door basically for more bullseye later down the line, which we're unfortunately not going to get. However, what I should say though, is that despite the fact that Jessica Jones has been cancelled, we are still getting Series 3. So, it is happening. We are still going to be getting it. Um, I don't know of the release date, but it is filmed and raring to go. So, whenever Netflix decide to put it out, we will be getting it. And will be the last, um, it will be the last show in Marvel's Netflix uh, partnership. Which is really sad, but oh well. They said it's going to be like the swan song to it, but I think they, what they mean when they say that is they just want it to end on a high note, basically. Because these shows have been really good. Like I said, some better than others, but overall, all solid uh, entries, if you ask me. I haven't actually watched uh, Punisher Series 2 yet, so I still have that to look forward to, so that's good. So I've still got Punisher and Jessica Jones to look forward to, but I'm up to date on everything else. I also really enjoyed Luke Cage. I thought Series 1 was alright, but I really enjoyed Series 2. Like, I thought Series 2 was, was really good. And the casting with all these characters, you know, not just for, like, Charlie Cox, who is Daredevil, or John Burnfall, who is Punisher. But I think, you know, Kristen Ritter is a fantastic Jessica Jones. Mike Coulter is a great Luke Cage. Finn Jones, like I said, if he had more room to grow, I think he be, would have become um, really cool. Like, for example, if you've seen Iron Fist Series 2, you'll know that there's that whole C opening scene where he's got the bandana the yellow bandana and he's taken on I think it's the triads I love that scene so much and even though I love that series it sucks that Davos spoiler alert you know Davos takes takes the, uh, the iron fist from him because then we don't get to see Danny being that cool again for ages so yeah that that was kind of a shame but aside from that I think Finn Jones did a great job but not not only those actors you know also the supporting cast like Colleen Wing and Misty Knight and um 
Karen Page, Foggy Nelson, all fantastic, all brilliant actors, and it's going to be such a shame that we're never going to see these uh, characters again. However, that might not be the case, because there is a silver lining here, because Jeff Loeb, who I believe is the head of TV at Marvel, has actually put out a blog post on the website recently, and it says something about how, you know, it, it, it's sad to hear that uh, their TV partners, those TV partners, of course, being Netflix, have decided that, uh, you know, they don't want to make any more series of Daredevil and all that, but they said that Marvel knows better than that, and they said something about, like, to be continued. So it makes me think that maybe they are in talks to eventually bring back these shows um, on another service, basically. Definitely not on Netflix, but I think we could see the return of Daredevil and all these things on another service, which would be really cool. A lot of people have suggested that it's all going to go on Hulu. But here's the thing about Hulu, because as far as I'm aware, that is a US only platform. So if those shows were, you know, say Daredevil and all those were only accessible to the people living in the US, that would suck. Because when you've got a character as popular as Daredevil, Punisher or Jessica Jones, at least, you know, everyone on the planet should be able to watch these shows somehow. So they really need to figure out a way of, if it is going to go on Hulu, who is going to get it in the UK? Is it Amazon Prime? Is And also, you know, outside of the UK, but is it Amazon Prime? Is it Sky? Like, I really don't know how they're going to do it. But here's the thing about... Um, DC Universe, you know, the streaming service with Titans and Swamp Thing and um, also, what's the other one? Uh, Doom Patrol. You know, I absolutely cannot wait to watch Doom Patrol. All of those shows, they are actually um, only available in the US at the moment on the DC uh, Universe streaming service, but in the UK, Titans is actually on Netflix. So, what if that means that despite the fact that clearly Disney and Netflix have beef at the moment, because obviously Disney wants to do their streaming service with Loki and War Machine, I think, and uh, what was the other one? It was like Falcon and Bucky. It all sounds absolutely incredible, and that's just the Marvel stuff. Like, the Star Wars stuff, the Mandalorian and everything, all of it sounds amazing. I think it sounds so much better than Netflix, and I will probably spend a lot more time watching that stuff than I will the stuff on Netflix. But yeah, you know, despite the fact that they have beef at the moment, maybe the UK version of Netflix would be willing to stream the new series of Daredevil and all of that if it went to Hulu. I don't know. I mean, apparently, um, according to, like, the contract between Marvel and, uh, and uh, Netflix is that um, if someone wants to use those characters again in a movie or TV series, they have to wait two years after the cancellation. So we probably won't see the, and, uh, you know, anything from this anytime soon, but I do hope that Jeff Loeb is hinting at the fact that it is in talks, that, you know, this isn't the last we've seen of Charlie Cox's Daredevil. And, you know, I don't think it'll go on the, the Disney streaming service, um, but I think it would be really cool if even though it is going to go on Hulu, maybe moving forward we could have more of a closer connection to the wider MCU. Because honestly, the more TV shows that Marvel have been putting out, the less I think that they are actually connected to the wider Marvel Cinematic Universe. Because really, the only thing they share, like the only thing they have in common, is the fact that both of them had a Battle of Harlem with the Hulk and Abomination, and also a Battle of New York with, you know, the Avengers and the Chitauri and Loki and all that stuff. Aside from that, there's been no other connection. So I hope moving forward, if these shows do return they you know connect better and they reference each other a lot better both movies and tv show that'd be really cool i mean technically you know spoiler alert for avengers infinity war which i'm sure everyone has seen by now but obviously with the snap that might be an opportunity there though that could explain the whole hiatus for these characters not being in in anything for so long like maybe the snap took out daredevil and luke cage and all these characters and when they come back you know don't you know rewrite the stories that we've already created because every series has been great but what you can still do is maybe change them slightly to fit whatever you know we're doing moving forward and maybe that would explain the closer connections to the MCU I don't know there's so many ways they could go about doing this but uh, what Jeff Loeb said on marvel.com has given me hope that maybe this isn't goodbye just yet for these characters and I really hope it's not because they're good they are really good they're some of the best shows on TV if you ask me I mean I think Daredevil deserves whatever award it can get <laughs> I mean uh, spoiler alert again you know, I don't want to spoil these shows because they're fantastic. But uh, for those of you that have seen Daredevil Series 3, you know, the uh, the prison fight where Matt is getting out of the prison. Whoever just worked on that, like everyone who worked on that, Charlie and um, the camera crew, the, uh, you know, the, the extras, everyone involved with that deserves 
the biggest award possible because that that's one of the most impressive things I've ever seen not only in television but just in, in media in general. That was incredible. The fact that there was no cuts or anything, and they even said they planned for cuts. I mean, a show of that quality should not stay dead, especially when it's Daredevil, because there's so much more they could, uh, you know, explore. I'm very curious to see what Jessica Jones Series 3 is going to be about. I would imagine that it's probably going to focus a lot on Trish, you know, with her abilities and everything, but we'll have to see. Anyway, guys, that will probably have to do it for this video. I've talked a lot about my thoughts on the whole Netflix and Marvel thing. Like I said, hopefully there is a future for these characters because they are awesome. And I mean, hey, even if they're not, one thing that uh, you guys should know is that the Defenders will be in uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 The Black Order. So even if these shows don't come to TV anytime soon, you'll at least be able to make your own adventures with them in Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, which would be very cool. I mean, they've only shown Iron Fist, but they say in the trailer, The Defenders. So surely that means Iron Fist, Daredevil, Luke Cage, and Jessica Jones. But we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for lots more videos real soon. And as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.